According to authorities, this undercover sting started in July of last year. Detectives said they posed as underage children and prostitutes in order to catch these people. 51-year-old David Moss, a former lieutenant for St. George Police and a bishop with the Mormon Church, and 29-year-old Richard Martin are both facing some serious felony charges right now. Authorities say these men are two of 40 people that is not even a drop in the bucket who have recently been taken into custody following a human trafficking sting by Utah County Sheriff's Office. You would only assume that because of his experience in law enforcement, he knew how law enforcement worked. According to authorities, seven years ago, while Moss was on vice with St. George Police, he was involved in a separate incident where he was having on duty sexual relationships. The internal investigation was sustained and Prior to a formal recommendation of discipline by the chief of police, uh, Moss re uh, resigned. Sergeant Spencer Cannon with Utah County Sheriff's Office says during conversations with undercover detectives who were pretending to be prostitutes, Moss told the women that he could manage them and he had run other girls before in the past. Managing is, I guess, a euphemism for being a pimp. And he told them he was not, it was uh, managing them was different than being a pimp. A pimp is a pimp, no matter what you call it. According to police, Martin was caught through social media saying explicit things to detectives who were pretending to be underage children. The one, Mr. Martin, he has uh, enticing a minor by internet or text, and that's significant significant enough in and of itself. The other 38 people who've been arrested are currently facing misdemeanors, according to Sergeant Cannon, and moving forward, there are still some concerns. Because of the position that he held, uh, in his previous employment with St. George PD, we have concerns that there may be other people that he might have taken advantage of in this way uh, and gotten involved in this. The LDS Church sent us this statement regarding Moss and his role as a bishop within the church. The behavior alleged in this incident is completely unacceptable and unbecoming of any member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and especially of someone serving in a position of local leadership. Upon learning of this situation, local leaders took immediate steps to relieve him of his role and to identify his replacement.